Hi, friends. My name is Sophia, and this is my brother, Ethan. He just got back from school, and now he has to go work at a burger place near our house to wash dishes for four hours. Why? Because he owes our parents a ton of money. Of course, it's not easy for a kid to make a lot of money. That's why he's working seven days a week. But even if he keeps working at this rate until he finishes high school, he still won't be able to pay back everything he owes. Dad says, pay off what you can and we'll think about the rest when the time comes. Ethan goes to wash dishes at the burger place every day after school. On the weekends, he does odd jobs around the neighborhood. If it's a nice day, he sets up a lemonade stand outside our house. He says that's what brings in the most money. When the weather isn't so good, he does things like mowing our neighbor's lawns or walking their dogs. My parents run a gift shop together. They are both workaholics. They've been working really hard for years. They leave home at 8 a.m. and don't come back until 9 p.m. That's the reason why all this happened. Recently, this is what we've been doing in the evenings. First, we eat dinner together. Then Ethan goes to his room. He brings all the money he's made that day and gives it to dad. Dad counts the money and writes down the amount in his notepad. Then he tells Ethan how much he still owes. So why does Ethan owe so much money to our parents? And why does he work so hard and give them all the money he makes without complaining? Now it's time to tell you about all this. As I said before, my parents work together and their business is their life. Their customers are usually tourists. They have to keep their gift shop open every single day of the year. So Ethan and I have had to practically raise ourselves. This has its advantages and disadvantages. The best part is we learn to take care of ourselves. On the other hand, we lacked parental discipline. There's no one around asking us, why did you do this? Or why didn't you do that? Our parents come home so tired, they don't have the energy to deal with us in the evenings. I always thought this was a blessing. I think it's wonderful to grow up without any pressure from your family. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case for my brother. He took advantage of our parents' absence and spent tons of money on video games. He was doing it for months. That's how we found out that he was really lacking parental discipline. But of course, it was too late. By the time we realized this, Ethan had almost bankrupted the family. After school, both Ethan and I would go to our rooms and we usually wouldn't come out until after our parents came home from work. I would always do my homework first. Then I'd talk to my friends, watch TV, or spend time on TikTok or YouTube. Whenever I'd go into Ethan's room, he'd always be playing video games. So I knew he was spending most of his time gaming. But I knew that a lot of kids his age were doing the same, so I didn't really worry. <laughs> But it turned out he was spending a lot of our parents' money on those games. One day, we came back from school as usual. We had a snack in the kitchen and went to our rooms. Half an hour or so had passed. That's when I heard Ethan's door open suddenly and my dad started screaming at him. Dad never comes home in the afternoons. So I panicked and went to see what was happening. Dad was holding a credit card. He waved it at Ethan, screaming, What could you have bought that maxed out this card? <gasps> and this is the company card! How did you even get this card's number? That's how I found out that Ethan spent a ton of money on video games using our parents' credit card. My parents used this card to purchase inventory for the store. Since they make purchases from many different vendors, they didn't notice that Ethan had been using it. When my mom wanted to buy something and discovered that the card had been maxed out, she told my dad. Because the card had a really high credit limit, they never had a problem like this before. When my dad called the bank, they found out about my brother's charges. He naturally was furious and rushed home to confront my brother about it. After that, Ethan probably had the worst night of his life. 
my dad literally interrogated him. So he had to tell him in detail what he spent all that money on. I don't know anything about video games. I've played Candy Crush a few times when one of my friends was really into it, but that's it. So I didn't understand most of what Ethan said. From what I can remember, he bought an incredibly expensive hat from a game called Roblox, for example. Yes, I said hat, but it wasn't even a real hat. You have your character wear it during the game. I couldn't believe Ethan could be this naive. Dad says it takes four days working at the store to make that money. He was so annoyed that he asked my brother, so how's the hat? Is it nice? Ethan couldn't even tell dad was being sarcastic. Dad, it's really cool. I'm sure you'll like it too, Ethan said while logging into his Roblox account to naively show dad the hat. After that, dad told him, go and fetch my toolbox from mm -hmm. the garage. Ethan still didn't get it, but went and got the toolbox. Dad took out a wrench and smashed my brother's phone into small pieces. The weirdest part was that he did it very calmly and carefully. My brother couldn't believe his eyes. Once he finally understood how angry dad was, he didn't say a word. Actually, it was a really funny scene, but of course, I couldn't laugh at that point. <laughs> Apart from the games, Ethan spent a lot of money on YouTubers and some streamers on Twitch. He even became the biggest donor for a girl on Twitch and she brought him on her live stream to thank him. When things calmed down, I found the video on her channel and watched it. When my brother makes the donation, the girl can't believe her eyes. Then she gets up to dance with joy for minutes on end. It's unbelievable that Ethan wasted our family's money like that. I asked him how he could have done this. He said, sadly, it didn't seem like real money to me. I spent it like it was game money. I regret that even more now that I know how hard it is to actually earn money. But there's nothing I can do about it now. So how did Ethan get the number of our dad's credit card? Dad asked him since he was curious. Ethan's face turned red. But there was nowhere to run. He looked down and said, I stole it. Now it was my dad who turned red from rage. When did you steal it? He yelled. Ethan's eyes filled with tears. On your birthday, he said, his voice trembling. My mom had gotten my dad a massage as a birthday gift. We all went to the spa with him because we were going out to dinner together afterwards. As dad was getting his massage, we waited in the cafeteria. Ethan sneaked into the dressing room, took the credit card from dad's wallet, and wrote down the number on a piece of paper. Initially, he just wanted to buy a few things in a game called Fortnite. But when nobody noticed, he kept using the credit card for two and a half months in many different places, spending money like crazy. The next day, Dad applied for a refund from all the companies Ethan bought things from, but unfortunately, most of them didn't budge. Some of them never even answered his emails. Dad had to ask his lawyer for help. And he had a weird suggestion. He said to Dad, if you can prove that your credit card was stolen, we can get all the money back in court. But for that to happen, you need to report Ethan. Then he needs to get arrested, of course, so that the crime has been documented. But you don't need to worry. Ethan's young and the judge will let him go with a small fine. Dad told us what the lawyer said over dinner. Ethan was really scared. He begged, please don't report me to the police. Dad said, why shouldn't I? I think you deserved it. And Ethan started sobbing. Of course, Dad wasn't going to do it, but he scared Ethan once again when he got the chance. That night, Dad said, so since we can't get our money back, this will be your debt. You are going to pay it off mm -hmm. by working. That's how Ethan's work adventure began. My mom's friend got him the job at the burger place. I gave him the idea about jobs in the neighborhood. Ethan knows full well that he's guilty. That's why he accepts whatever we say and works any job with zero complaints. Do you know someone who spends a lot of money on video games? If you do, please leave a comment. We'd love to hear your story. Thanks for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more stories like this one.
Bye!